All right. Chriswell predicts. What is this? Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Obviously. Remember, my friend, future events such as these will affect you. He's the obviously reading. You are interested from in a cue card. The mysterious, the unexplainable. That is why you are here. And now, for the first time, we are bringing to you the full story of what happened on that fateful day. We are giving you all the evidence based only on the secret testimony of the miserable souls who survived this terrifying so ordeal. So, they're billing this the as a the places, my true friend, story. We cannot keep this a secret any longer. Let us punish the guilty. Let us reward the innocent. My friend, can your heart stand the shocking facts about grave robbers from outer space? So yeah, that's the original name for the movie. It's Grave Robbers from Outer Space. Which I don't I wonder why it was changed to Plan 9. But so yeah, it's Plan 9 from Outer Space. But he said Grave Robbers from Outer Space. So what why was it changed? There. Written, direct, produced, and directed by Edward D. Wood Jr. All so we're at a. Uh, know that there is a time to live, and that there is a time to die. Yet death funeral. Is always a shock to those and it looks like the graves are not fully done. It is even done. more of a shock when death, the proud brother come suddenly without warning just at sundown a small group gathered in silent prayer around the newly opened grave of the beloved wife of an elderly man sundown of the day yet also the this sundown is of the old man's heart for the shadows there's a long scene right there clouded his very reason he's like well let's start digging is he gonna say something? No. It's just the a silent. Over, the saddened group left the graveside. That was just a silent. Uh, like the 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 graves are like not even done right. All right. Well, let's dig them up. And take all the jewelry. We gotta get make it first. It was when the grave diggers started their task that strange things began to take place. Yep. Taking them up. Take all their jewelry. <laughs> yep, right on schedule. There's the old San Fernando Valley. Wow. You better ready you in for landing instructions, Danny. Right, Jeff. Is that supposed to be inside of a plane? Bank Tower, this is American Flight 812. Over. Wouldn't surprise me any if he's asleep this time of the morning. Wait, was it? Was the radios like that back in the day? Where it was like connected to you? You got me that time, Mac. No, no, there's no way. Wow, that's so bad. Look at the string. Take a look for yourself. 
Oh, this is supposed to be a commercial airplane. Well, that's nothing from this world. Burbank Tower to American Flight 812. Are you in trouble? Are you in trouble? Mayday, Mayday. Stand by, Burbank Tower. You suppose a passenger saw it? I doubt it. Most of them are asleep. But it was quite a jolt, Jeff. I'll check. Good. We'll get it ready for landing. And keep it quiet until we get instructions. Right. Wouldn't you, like, American shit your pants? 12. Have you seen that? According to Burbank Tower. Over. There it is. <laughs> That's imposed. And they're they're not even taking anything. They're gonna be there all night. They're not even getting any Did you hear anything? I thought it did. Don't like hearing noises. Especially when there ain't supposed to be any. Yeah, sort of spooky like. Maybe we're getting old. Whatever it is, it's gone now. That's the best thing for us, too. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Wait, so they all like F their job? We don't need to. Completely different place. It's not it's dark on one on her end and freaking sun Wait, so did she <laughs> Wow, okay. The grief of his wife's death became greater and greater agony. The home they had so long shared together became a tomb, a sweet memory of her joyous living. The sky to which she had once looked was now only a covering for her dead body. It's kind of hot out to be rocking that that suit with the, the, with the cape. It's kind of sharp, but it's, it's not right, the right weather. she had planted with her own hand became nothing more than the lost roses of her cheeks do you really need a narrator for this confused by his great loss the old man left that home never to return again Those are the expensive shots right there. This is all the cheap stuff. At the funeral of the old man, unknown to his mourners, his dead wife was Why talking. were they all... First his wife, then he... Hey, what's up, Chaotic? Tell me something. How you doing, what man? Yes, definitely a movie night. And he sealed in a crypt. Something to do with family tradition. A superstition of some sort. Oh. Well, it's getting dark. Let's be in our way. It's getting dark. It's been dark. And why were they all in the damn then as two of the uh, daughters, coffin? Final like the, the whatever it's called. <laughs> oh my god! So bad. And those definitely weren't the the guys. Definitely uh. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, it's good. I, I think I'm gonna do this every Thursday. Watch some crazy movies. This one is serious. This is supposed to be the worst movie of all time, so. Minutes later, the police, led by Inspector Daniel Clay, arrived at the scene. Who found them? The man and girl. Medical uh, examiner being around yet? Just left. The morgue wagon ought to be along most any time. You get their statement? Yeah, as much as we could. They're pretty scared. Finding a mess like this ought to make anyone try. Look, it's Head dummies. The they couldn't get the yeah, actors that just play help. dead. You take charge. Okay, Inspector. What yeah, this one do? is serious. Way. This is serious right here. Once you get beyond the range of those lights, you won't be able to see your hand in front of your face. I will get one of the flashlight from the patrol car. You be careful, Clay. I'm a big boy, not Johnny. Definitely a big boy.
I mean, why didn't they just film this like on like on location instead of building a set and it looks like crap? I mean, I guess it's a little bit cheaper, probably. I mean, I, I, I guess so, but I mean, it's like when they they were shooting all this stuff from outside, they could have been like, "All right, well, lay down and play dead. We're gonna we need a couple more shots." I don't know. Looks like a bobcat tore into the yeah. <laughs> it's so fake looking. They had to make sure we covered the face, so it isn't obvious. Oh, that'll be the morgue wagon now. That's the fifth siren in the last hour. Uh, something's happened down at the cemetery. A lot of police cars and lights. I stopped, but I didn't see anything. Oh, well, whatever it is, the morning paper will carry the whole story. You seem to still be up there somewhere. Maybe I am. I don't think I've ever seen you in this mood before. Exactly, the arms are there. <laughs> about your flight yeah what happened Jim? I saw a flying saucer saucer oh that's the uh you the pilot the from up there yeah well, it's kind of it's definitely a saucer all right it was shaped like a huge cigar Dan and either saw it too when it passed over, the whole compartment lighted up with a blinding glare. Then there was a tremendous wind that practically knocked us off our course. Well, did you report it? Yeah. Radioed in immediately. All right, Chaotic. Have a Quite good night, man. Night. Thanks for uh, stopping by. As soon as we landed, Big Army Brass grabbed us and made us swear to secrecy about the whole thing. What oh, burns me up. These things have been seen for years. They're here. It's a fact. And the public ought to know about it. There must be something more you can do about it. No, well, there isn't. All but what's the use of making a fuss? But last night I saw a flying object that couldn't have possibly been from this planet. But I can't say a word. I'm muzzled by army brass. I can't even admit I saw the thing. Oh, well, I think everyone's seen it now. Wait, those people would have to see it. I was about to say, like, they would have to see it. Because they think here the sirens. For, for them to all jump like that, that thing had to be extremely low. Nothing? They're not going to say anything? No, no one's gonna talk. No, they just seen a flying tosser. All right. Yep. It's supposed to be Dracula. Why is he covering his face? That's the wall. You can see the wall. The back wall. You can just seen it. The, <laughs> the branches is on the actual back wall. What? Was she a robot? It's firing blanks. Like 
So he, like, he didn't try to talk to him or not. He just started shooting. If that apparition we saw had something to do with it, come on. Oh yeah, the gunshots would definitely, uh, you might want to definitely go to the gunshots. Did he trip? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Shoot your freaking face Al. off. He's messed up as bad as those two back there. Suppose that saucer or whatever it was had something to do with this? Your guess is good as mine, Larry. Why did he shoot himself? Sure. Why would you Perfect hold your said. gun like that? Murder. And somebody's responsible. <laughs> You're in charge now, Lieutenant. Yeah, guess I am. Calvin, yes, sir? Damn sure didn't care I about him. Tell the coroner he's gotta make another trip out here. Well, how about the lab boys? Who do you think we left back up the car, Boy Scouts? Come on, man. Why is he talking with his gun in his hand like that? I'm like, dude, stop pointing your gun towards me when you're talking. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for another. It is always difficult to have last words over the grave of a friend. And Inspector Daniel Clay was a friend. A dear friend to me. Wait, what? And to all of us. So the bell has rung upon his great career. So they're having a funeral at the now same place where he died? At the same cemetery? Well deserved, but so premature. It's kinda creepy. The same was the same night. Now it's the now it's day. People turning south from the freeway. We're startled when they saw three flying saucers high over Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, it's so bad looking. Saucers seen over Hollywood. I don't know, that saucer looked like it was about to crash. A woman startled by the sight in the sky telephones the police. Whoa! Oh, someone's drunk. Someone had a little bit to drink. There comes a time in Everybody's drunk in this. What is he drinking? He can't even believe his own Earth a kit! That's Catwoman right there. Saucer seat over Hollywood. Flying saucers seen over Washington, D.C. The army convoy moved into the field. So, what does the, the saucers have to do with anything with the Dracula and the two, the two vampires? Rockets were quickly set up. So, Tom Edwards in charge of saucer field activity. Is Dracula and Vampire are they? The greatest decision of his career. That's how they get around in the he flying saucer. Colonel Edwards gave the signal That's obvious fire. stock footage. Oh my god. It, I'm sorry, you can't get like stock footage of like missiles going off, huge missiles, and then just little sparks near the saucers. <laughs> little firecrackers exploding. Get one? No? No? We're still... Still shooting the scene? Then as swiftly as they had come, they were gone. Even to the piercing eye of radar and the speeding jet fighters. 
Yep, some more stock footage. <laughs> what the hell? Quite a sight, wasn't it, sir? Sight yeah, like that wall people. behind you. Worried about them, sir? Well, it's quite a sight. For their visits. Visits? I would indicate visitors. I mean, I guess he would do everything inside. He has more control of the sound and all that. Man. Then they attacked a town. A small town, I'll admit, but nevertheless a town of people. People who died. I never heard about that, sir. Well, it was covered up by the higher echelon. Take any fire, any earthquake, any major disaster. Then wonder. Flying saucers, Captain, are still a rumor. Officially. Uh, how is that still a rumor when... Everyone's seen it. It was in the papers. Where are they from? Where are they going? They, sir? Who? Oh, this is a training maneuver, sir. Oh, boy. We only did a little practice firing at the clouds. Really? Yeah. I how, what their next move how could you deny it? So wait, are they the vamp? Well, let's see. They're, hopefully, they show. What will their next move be? Wait, that's them. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. <laughs> what? That was so like. Dude seemed bored. You have your that's the Wakanda. We had to pull in here to Space Station Seven for regeneration. We're returning to the planet Earth immediately thereafter. Now, we'll, let's find out what we their plan is. The they refuse our existence. What plan will you follow now? Plan nine. Ah. It's been absolutely impossible to work through these Earth creatures. Their soul is too controlled. They didn't do anything plan but just nine. fly around. Ah, oh, yes. Plan nine deals with the resurrection of the dead. Long distance electrode shot into the pineal pituitary glands of recent dead. Have you attempted any of this plan as yet? Yes, Excellency. So that's where they come from. How successful has it been? We have risen too so far. We shall be just as successful on more. The living, they have no suspicion of your movements? We had to dispose of one policeman. However, none of those risen have been seen. At least not by anyone who still remains alive. So, to... Must be handled this way. But it must. That the makes no sense. From the grave will lead the way for our other operations. So yes, like... Excellency. Continue on. Report to me in two Earth days. Wakanda forever. I feared His Excellency wouldn't take our report this well. Well, had he been dealing with our own people, his reaction would have been completely different. I gotta get one of them jumpsuits. the difficulties of the Earth. Do Why does his look more girly than hers? <laughs> well, as long as they can think, we'll have our problems. But those whom we're using cannot think. They are the dead, brought to a simulated life by our electrode guns. You know, it's an interesting thing when you consider the Earth people who can think are so frightened by those who cannot. So... Well, our ship should be regenerated. We better get started. Let's get this straight. So, they wanted to tell the people of the world that they were here. But no one... All they did was just fly around. They didn't land and talk to people. They just flew around and the government ignored them. Tried to cover it up. Even though it was on the newspapers and, and all that stuff. So, their plan is to resurrect the dead... And then what? And that's gonna show them? Are they in stealth mode now? Now what? Alright, now just resurrect the dead and then... Then what? They're gonna start killing people and... What's... Then what? What's gonna happen, you know? Like, it's... A little crazy. I still think you ought to go in town and stay with your mother until I get back. This is our home, and nothing's going to take me from it. He's just having to live 
Mom near all of this. Keep their wives from going home to Mama. That's not the point. That's all the point there's going to be. Now toddle off and fly your flying machine. Dog. And why are they always hanging out in their backyard? More flying saucers. Will you tell them to pick another house to buzz? Be careful. Don't worry about me. Oh, you're the only thing I do worry about. Oh, forget about the flying saucers. They're She's there. pretty, though. But there's something in that cemetery. And that's too close for comfort. The saucers are up there. And the cemetery's out there. But I'll be locked up in there. Yeah, right. You're in the backyard. Now. Like, but you stay in the backyard. You promise Anyone can sneak up and get your ass. I promise. Besides, I'll be in bed before half an hour is gone. Your pillow beside me. Humping it. Well, I have to have something to keep me company while you're away. Stop, say Sometimes she's humping the pillow. Night when it does get a little lonely, I reach over and touch it. Ah, see? It doesn't seem so lonely anymore. Because she humps it. <laughs> a crazy kid. See you Thursday. Goodbye, honey. Shouldn't you go to the front? You know I'm not leaving you until you lock safely inside. All right, darling. Make sure you don't show what the house looks like inside. <laughs> Make sure you stand right in front of that door. Oh my gosh. If you're especially nice, I may even lock the side door. Because you definitely sure you that's definitely not your front door. But it was paying for them to bring, get that car in that studio. Oh, this plane's interior is just so bad. You're mighty silent this trip, Jeff. Huh? You haven't spoken ten words since takeoff. I guess I'm preoccupied, Danny. Who's the fly who's flying it? We've got thirty three passengers back there. Who's the, the time to be preoccupied? The, the co pilot can give you that opportunity. I guess you're right, Danny. Paula? Yeah. There's nothing wrong between you two. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just that I'm worried she being there alone and those strange things flying over the house and those incidents in the graveyard these past few days has just got me worried. Well, maybe they haven't figured out those crazy skybirds yet, but I'd give you 50 to 1 odds the police have cleared up that cemetery thing by now. I hope so. If you're really that worried, Jeff, why don't you radio in and find out? Max should be on duty at the field by now. They love uh, curtains Before in this movie. Message to you. Hi, Edie. Hi, Silence. I haven't heard a word from this end of the plane since we left the field. How oh, just been giving himself and me a study in silence. The boys aren't feuding. Oh, no, Edie, nothing like that. Hey, Edie, how about you and He's me trying to get some of that. Albuquerque. Albuquerque, have you read that flight schedule? Hey, what is up, uh, Commander Cody? How you doing, man? We're watching some, uh, well, yes, we're watching Randall some Plan 9 from Outer Space. This is, supposedly this is the worst movie of all time, and it's, it's definitely one of the worst. Get there soon enough as it is. He thought it'd be quiet and peaceful there. No doubt about that. It's quite all right, like a tomb. I'm sorry, Jeff, that was a bad joke. Say, I almost forgot what I came in here for. How's the coffee situation? So, I'll, mm, that's for me. It sure would hurt. I give you a quick rundown of what this movie's right about. And say, Jeff, um, nah, aliens, they're trying to get a hold of, like, you know, humans and let them know that they're here. The government, U.S. government, kind of ignored them about it. Residents near the cemetery paid little attention to the. Oh, you heard of it before? Okay, cool. And the flash of light. I maybe Commando Cody. I don't know. The blast arose the moving figure of the dead old man. What is going on? Oh, this is supposed to be like, um... Was he dead?
I said a dead old man, but when did he die? Hello? They never showed him die. Hello?
Yeah, make sure you keep your arms out. Turn off the electrodes quickly. They can't tell us from anyone else. Shouldn't she have that ready? <laughs> I need to see them just start cracking up laughing. It's tough to find something when you don't know what you're looking for. I don't think the lieutenant does either. Then what are we doing out here? I was off duty an hour ago. Oh, don't ask me any questions. I'm just a hard hand just like you. I'm just a hard hand just like you. These cops, man. And they took off in a small cemetery and... What do you suppose that noise was? Oh my god. Whatever it was, it's no more strange than the other things happening around this cemetery. Spirits like old farmer Caller talked about. <laughs> well, maybe. The only spirits he saw tonight were those I smelled on his breath. Oh, don't forget, Miss Trent claims to have seen them too. She didn't have anything on her breath. She was hysterical. And true, she was frightened and in a state of shock. But, don't forget that... Oh my god, there's the cop again. Talking yeah, with his gun in his hand. Pointing at. I'm like, yo, dude, stop pointing your gun at me. That's why you're a detective lieutenant and I'm still a uniformed cop. Sometimes it's only the brakes, Larry. Meantime, let's get... <laughs> there he is, doing it again. How could we help it? It sure was strange. Know what it was? No more than you do. Went for orders, I get out of here right now. It was a saucer. A flying saucer? Makes you say that. Do you remember the noise we heard the other night? We were knocked to the ground. How could I forget? Exactly. But you're not remembering that sound. There you're wrong, Lieutenant. I'm with the fact the sound is... No, he kind of looks like, um... The blinding light. Oh, the actor who played in, uh... Many times the saucer hasn't had a goal. Um, or a light of any kind, for that matter. And Dexter. He kind of looks like a dude who played Dexter. What next, Lieutenant? Oh, Lieutenant. A little bit. Yeah, he actually does look like him. Holy crap. Uh, Jamie Mee found a grave that looks like it's been busted into. What? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. Oh, uh, just uh, over there, beyond the This crib. is the dumbest right, cops away. ever. Look, here, here it is, Lieutenant. Uh, it's been broken into, all right. <laughs> Strange. If someone had broken in, the dirt should be piled up here somewhere. It looks like it's fallen into the grave. Larry, you'll be out of that uniform before you know it. We have the right to look down there, Lieutenant. Uh, technically, no. No. Well, this spot oh. looks familiar, though. Yeah, we shouldn't investigate any further S without permission. The spot looks familiar. They don't realize it was. Oh, I see what you mean. The gravestones down there. Well, let's go down. And find wait, down wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. They didn't realize it's the detective's grave. Out. Are you sure? They you mean just that had Lieutenant? the funeral. If I didn't mean it. I wouldn't have said it. Wow. Scared? Well, why do I always get hooked up with these spook details? Monsters, graves, bodies. These are the dumbest cops uh, uh, ever. You guys just had the funeral in the same place he was murdered. You don't remember that he was buried there? Casket's here, but nobody's in it. Can you read the name on the casket? It's too dark. <laughs> Give me a flashlight. How about a mat? <laughs> we sure could try it. Let me have them. Okay. Oh my god. It's Inspector Clay's grave. No, nah, really? But he ain't in it. Oh my god. But meanwhile, at the dumbest in Washington, D.C. cops ever. For this movie, for an old movie, yeah. this is actually pretty good quality. <laughs> yes, of course. I'll keep in touch. Up, oh, boom, boom, Mike is in the in the shot. Boom, Mike. Fix that boom, Mike. Pull it up. There you go. There we go. Pull the boom, Mike up. <laughs> I uh, understand, Colonel. You've been on tap for many of our saucer attacks. I'm in charge of field operations, sir. Wait, is that the guy who played? You believe there are such things as flying saucers, Colonel? Yes, sir. No, that's not him. Them? It was a yes, younger person. You realize there's a government 
directive stating that there is no such thing as a flying saucer. Yes, sir. Do you stand by your statement that you've seen flying saucers? Well, uh... Yes, sir. This could mean a court-martial admitting this against direct orders. General Roberts, may I speak freely? You may. How could I hope to hold down my command if I didn't believe in what I saw and shot at? I, uh, Everyone's seen it. You I can't, like, you. flying saucers there over Hollywood. There was, there was newspapers. Everyone's seen it. There's no doubt they are in our skies. They've been there for some time. What are we going to do about them? Who knows? Then uh, they really are there. I thought you were convinced of that. I am. We've had contact with them. Contact? Oh. Radio. They speak our language? Well, not quite. We've received messages from their spaceships. For a while, it came in as just a lot of jumbled noise. And now, sir? Well, since they first uh, tried contact with us by radio, we've developed a language computer. A machine that breaks down any language to our... I don't know. They seem like their General, English is pretty uh, good. What's this all got to do with me? Well, you've been in charge of saucer field activity for a long while. I think it's about time you heard these recordings. You might. Might? Huh. I'm anxious. Alright, let's hear these bad boys out. This is Heroes, a space soldier from a planet of your galaxy. I fully realize our language differences. However, I also know you finally have perfected the dictal robotary. Or, as you on Earth call it, the language computer. So you can now understand that which I speak. Since the beginning of your time, we have been far beyond your planet. It has taken you centuries to even grasp what we developed eons of your years ago. All right. Do you still believe it impossible we exist? You didn't actually think you were the only inhabited planet in the universe. How can any race be so stupid? They <laughs> call them stupid. Me to set your mind at ease. We do not want to conquer your planet. Only save it. We could have destroyed it long ago if that had been our aim. Our principal purpose is friendly. I admit that we have had to take certain means which you might refer to as criminal. That is because of your big guns, which have destroyed some of our representatives. Ouch. If you persist in denying us our landmarks, then we must only accept that you do not want us on friendly terms. We then have no alternative but to destroy you before you destroy us. So... With your ancient, juvenile minds, you have developed explosives too fast for your minds to conceive what you were doing. So I'd be like, all right, well, call him up. Let's be friends. What's the problem? This is our last. That's the end of that one. Atmospheric conditions in outer space often interfere with transmitting. How many of these recordings do you have, General? An even dozen up to now. This was the last one. We received it over a month ago. You think they mean business? We can't afford to take any chances. Why? Over here. That irks me. If they said we could be friends, we're not looking to harm you. Just acknowledge that we're here. So what's the problem? Just a few minutes from Hollywood in the town of San Fernando, reports have come in of saucers flying so low the exhaust knocked people to the ground. There have even been stated claims of saucer landings. Major Carlson will replace you while you're out there. You're the best man for the job of attempting to contact them. Find them, Colonel. See what? what in hell it is they want. All right, sir. They just told you. These are confidential reports, Colonel. Read them over carefully on the plane. Turn them over to intelligence when you get to Los Angeles. They'll have further orders for disposition. Yes, sir. They just told you. The God, pilots. everyone is movie stupid. Yes, Thank you, sir. 
Wakanda forever. <laughs> He's so funny. These are the funniest aliens ever. We are ready to report, Excellency. I love these freaking curtains. It was unavoidable. We got he got wrestling boots on. But atmospheric conditions made transmission impossible. We should have transmitted as soon as conditions permitted. I thought time was of the essence. Suspicion has fallen upon our movements. Our ships have been viewed near the point of operations. And what has this added time gained, Eros? We have successfully risen three of the dead ones. Permit me to see one. Bring in the big one. Use your small electro gun. Wanaconda forever. I have taken two So that gun wait. But so the guns they have is only it is necessary that you continue your mission alone. I have need of your other ships elsewhere. Even though you have risen three of the Earth's dead, the plan is far from successful. And you, Eros, must prove it an operational success before more time, energy, ships, and your countrymen. Maybe spent a bit. We should just we pull up fail. on White House, on right side. next to the, down not the block from the White House. I'm like, we do not have the live Earth people. You reported that your ship was viewed at the scene of your present operations. That is correct. They have been viewed many times, but not at the scene of operations. Oh my yes. god. He's so nonchalant. Bring the giant here that I may get a better look at him. <laughs> it's like, send him to my room. I'll, uh. Yes, he's a fine specimen. Are they all this powerful on planet Earth? This one is an exception, Excellency. What are the other two like? One is a woman, the other an old man. An old man, you say? Yes, Excellency. AKA Dracula. Why is he breathing? Give me a plan. Put the big one away. Pick up your electrode gun. Make sure it's in working order before pointing it at him. The remaining jam seems to have been cleared by the fall. Take him back to the ship. Ah, oh, this is silly. No matter how high tech you are, man, you gotta use them curtains. The old one must be sacrificed. Reland on Earth. Send the old one to enter a dwelling. Then cut the electrokinetic and turn on your ship's decomposure ray. The result will astound those watching. Astound them enough to delay their intention until you have gained your other recruits from the cemetery. Yes, Excellency. It'll be done. Report to me when this has been accomplished. This is the dumbest plan ever. Eros, the Earth people are getting closer to that which we fear. Since they will not listen or respect our existence. Kind of looks like a they Tony Shalhoub. But believe our powers when they see their own dead walking around again, brought about by our advancement in such things. As soon as you have enough of the dead recruits, March them on the capitals of the earth. Let nothing stand in your way. Their own dead will be used to make them accept our existence and believe in that fact. Finally, someone actually said something decent of a plan. So here's the thing, though: they didn't have to do eight. They don't have to do a whole giant group of people. They can just send a couple. You can send those three to anywhere they need to send them. And like here, this is we're bringing back the dead to life. We have the technology, but uh, wait a minute. How about I, I tell you some better technology than that? A freaking flying saucer that's flying around. Just go, really, go to New York City, go to LA, and then just park it on the corner somewhere. 
I'm like, this is us. They're already- oh my god. Alright, let me- <laughs> Let me get off this rant. This is Colonel Edwards from Washington, D.C. Good evening, Colonel. Hello, Colonel. Colonel would like to ask you a few questions. Questions? What about, Colonel? May I, uh, sit down? Oh, I'm sorry. Please do. I they love sitting there in the backyard. The other night when you saw the flying saucer. They're back. After that, the police brought me home. They should be able to see that flying saucer and fall and land. Well, if they're like right in the backyard, the cemetery is like right One in the backyard. More. After you were forced to the ground by that blast of wind, was it a uh, hot or cold blast? It's kind of hard to explain. Was it hot? Was it cold? Just a terrific force. We, we couldn't get off the ground. Clyde blinded me so badly, I couldn't see a thing. We could only feel the pressure of the wind. Until it was gone. When the glare left us, we could see a glowing ball disappearing off in the distance. Which way? Toward the cemetery. Of course. There it is. That's so funny. They had the same shot. <laughs> what is it, like four or five times they've been using this shot now? This is the most oh my god. Story I've ever heard. <laughs> Every word of it's true, too. That's the fantastic part of it. Colonel, we found a lot of suspicious things out in that cemetery. But then again, didn't find anything to base a fact of suspicion on. Hey, do you hear anything? You see anything out there, Kelton? Oh, God. Lieutenant. You don't want him around. But something started stinking awful bad. He's the dumbest one out of the group. That's saying a whole lot. There's something out there. Whatever it is, better not look at my chest. Kind of looks like uh, the one dude from uh, Kiss in the Hall. Oh boy. How about, like, just run? No, I'm just gonna... How about, like, hey, what are you doing? Get on the ground. Why are they... What happened? Oh, okay, I guess they got him. Why are you sitting there? Why are you just sitting there? What the hell is that? Alright. Well, now they don't have to use that, uh, that, uh, stand in actor. <laughs> what do you make of that? Didn't look that way a minute ago. What about your man? Uh, Excitement I forgot all about, Kel. <laughs> Everyone forgot about this guy. Uh, he'll be alright in a few minutes. Did you see that thing? Did you get it? We got it. What was it? It didn't fall. I fired every bullet I had. So did I. I don't know what it was or what happened. We don't know what happened. It's a bag of bones over there can reassemble itself. It's all they're running now. It just turned into bones, but I mean, we don't know what happened. Since we can't explain it, it never happened. How often do you think I've taken a lease on this place? Not a long lease, I hope. I see what you mean. But you know, I can't help but feel the answers out here somewhere. They should be like. Why every time, no matter what time of day it is, when we go to the cemetery, it's always pitch black. With a little bit of moonlight in the corner. Yeah, they've been that way all down through the ages. Especially in a spot like this. Kelvin. Yes, sir. Stay with Mrs. Trent. 
All right, Lieutenant. Are you stay close to the officer, honey? I'd feel safer with you. Uh, I would too. <laughs> I'm like, F these cops. Oh. Now the Lieutenant knows best. Well, I don't like it, but I guess there isn't much I can do about it. Oh. It's the most dumbest cops ever. Do you have a gun? No. You know how to use one? After four years in the Marine Corps? Here. You think we'll need these? You never tell. Let's get going. Never tell. Nope. At least he put the gun away. The one cop was just like talking and pointing it. Oh boy, here we go. Here's Mr. Dummy. They didn't call they didn't, no backup, I guess. They don't need any backup. Would expect to find out here. Well, there's only one answer to that, Mr. Trent. We'll know when we find it. Inspector Clay's grade right over here. Is that the one you told me was broken into? Yes. Oh boy, here we go again. She, she walks super slow, but let's let her creep on us and let it, let her choke us to death. This is yeah. Looks to me like someone has broken off instead of in. I figured that, but that's impossible. Look, Colonel, some things just can't happen. Yeah, well, after that apparition that was draped across exactly. the video, I would say we should keep our minds open to anything. Look, Colonel, I'm a policeman. I've got the deal in facts. What do you... I guess I'll have to go along with you. You know how I'll bet my... How about believe what you see? We haven't seen the last... Those are facts. 30s. Like, you just seen... The dude shoot the guy. Yeah, nothing happened. And then he turned into bones. It's the only way. These are the same men... Yeah, look at his so boots, yeah. So they must be halted before they can inform others about us. There were others in the car. They'll be taken too. They'll be taken too. Send the big one for the girl and the policeman. I'll turn on the Dictal Robotary so we may converse with him. That's <laughs> so funny. The dumbest cop ever. Oh, make sure that. The trees are in your out of your way. Let's go really slow. Really slow. Steady. Steady. He's killing this roll though. You know maybe we're barking up the wrong tree. One thing a policeman learns, Mr. Trent, is patience. Where's that burn spot you mentioned? Right over there. Look. Yeah. We'll investigate. <laughs> Move carefully. Oh boy. How you Alright. Now let's see what he does this time. <laughs> what was that? What? She looked like she was yawning. Wait, he opened the door? Okay. Why didn't she just... Uh, Alright. <laughs> A moment or two more, and you will be the first live Earth people ever to enter a celestial ship. Ah. Boy, how can anything that big hide for so long a time? You guys are idiots. Never heard metal sound like that before. What do you see? Only my reflection. Must be some kind of one-way glass. I wonder how you get into this thing. I'm not sure I want to find out. She had to make sure and look around and make sure that door closed. Or they ruin the shot. So she had to look back. They're just outside. You can open the outer hatch now. That that uh, handle controls everything. Oh no, that one. Look out! Be good in that thing. 
That's what we're here for. I don't know. The way these snakes speed around, we might just get in there and off it goes. That's a chance we take. Well, I took a chance on those earlier airplanes. Might just as well see what the inside of one of these looks like. Got your guns ready? You nah, really, it's pointing right at your face. I'm shooting first and asking questions later. Yeah, because the guns work so well on the other guy. Why did it be funny if they just shot them too and then just added a movie Gross. credits? Do we have to kill them? Yes. Seems such a waste. Well, wouldn't it be better to kill a few now than with their meddling permit them to destroy the entire universe? We're always right, Arrows. Of course. Of course. But those are not my words. Those are the words. She secretly wants to take over. Now let's see what they talk we about. We will do as you command. For the moment. No, for the moment about it. You just do as I tell you. You do not need guns. Maybe we think we do. They would be of no use to you now. Just shoot them. Been mighty useful before. Oh I yeah. Blood. Are you sure? You two look like you've got a lot of both. True, they would be effective upon us. If you were to have the opportunity to use them, Mister, if you don't get just away from shoot them. Board, I'll show you just how effective they can be. Too late. I had to switch. Shall we talk now or wait? Your friends will be here shortly. What friend? Those you left at the vehicle. If you've done anything to Paula, take it easy, Mister Trent. Well, I assure you, no harm has come to her. Would you like to see? Next time you try that, I won't aim at the board. You're a headstrong young man. I was only going to turn on the televisor so you could see her movements. But it doesn't work now. Go ahead, my friend. No, nope, too late. You guys broke it. Careful. Too late. Nope, sorry. Alright, hurry, cut the shot. Don't want to walk into the wall. She's only fainted. You fiend. I? A fiend? <laughs> I am a soldier of our planet. I? A fiend? I am no fiend. We did not come here as enemies. We came only with friendly intentions. To talk. To ask your aid. Our aid? Yes. Your aid for the whole universe. So, the governments of Earth refused even to accept our existence. And then you can be like, oh, sorry, just even misunderstanding. Oh, okay. Alright, end of the movie. You still refuse to accept us. Why is it so important that you want to contact the governments of our Earth? Because of death. Because all you of Earth are idiots. <laughs> Call them idiots. Just hold on, Buster. No, you hold on. First was your firecracker. A harmless explosive. Then your hand grenade. They began to kill your own people a few at a time. Then the bomb. Then a larger bomb. Many people are killed at one time. Then your scientists stumbled upon the atom bomb. Split the atom. Split the atom. Then the hydrogen bomb, where you actually explode the air itself. Now it brings the total destruction of the entire universe served by our sun. The only explosion left is the solar night. So what? But there's no such thing, perhaps to you. But we've known it for centuries. Your scientists will stumble upon it as they have all the others. But the <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not. Us. Especially in this movie, jeez. Strength until it's too late. You're way above our heads. The solar night is a way to explode the actual particles of sunlight. But that's impossible. Even now, your scientists are working on a way to harness the sun's rays. The rays of sunlight are minute particles. Is it so far from your imagination they cannot do she it? She doesn't look bored. Why a particle of sunlight can't even be seen or measured. Can you see or measure an atom? Yet you can explode one. 
A ray of sunlight is made up of many atoms. So what if we do develop this solarite bomb? We'd be even a stronger nation than now. Strong. You see? You see? Your stupid minds. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Get stupid. Get like you don't tell me I'm stupid. It's because of men like you that all must be destroyed. Get so. Strong. These what? aliens were acting like they were no badass. The mind God gave. So what you do they have God? other than the dead? You also think it impossible that we too might think of God? You, who wear the uniform of your country, you see, I wear the uniform of my country. Yes, we've had to use drastic means to get to you, but you left us no alternative. When you have the soul of a knight, you have nothing. Nor does the universe. You speak of solar and night, but just what is it? Yeah, let's Take explain to them so they gasoline. can... <laughs> right? This can of gasoline is the sun. Now, you spread a thin line of it... So, here's the deal. This guy is an idiot, too. You guys are gonna he he doesn't want them to have this, but let's explain to them how to make it. Here we saturate the ball with the gasoline. The sunlight. And we put a flame to the ball. The flame will speedily travel around the earth, back along the line of gasoline to the can, or the sun itself. It will explode this source and spread to every place that gasoline our sunlight touches. Explode the sunlight here, gentlemen. You explode the universe. Explode the sunlight here, and a chain reaction will occur direct to the sun itself. And to all the planets that sunlight touches. To every planet in the universe. This is why you must be stopped. Oh, this guy's an This idiot. is why any means must be used to stop you. In a friendly manner. Wait. Every planet. Wait, 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 You want it? He's mad. Mad. Every planet. The sun is not going to affect every. All right. You haven't done this. All right. <laughs> mad that one country must destroy another to save themselves. You have also done this. Wait, look at the windows. It's like dark on one window and light on the other window. In my land, women are for advancing the race. Not for fighting man's battle. So the women are just for doing Life my bidding and laying in my bed and making we my don't sandwiches. Do it like you do. Our entire aim is for the development of our planet. Oh boy, this guy. They didn't want him, he's an idiot. Wait, look look at the uh License plate. They like. Why they? Why they block the license plate? I asked for lots of help. You sounded drunk or something on the radio. That's Dexter Morgan right there. Oh boy. And he almost broke my shoulder. Look, what are you trying to say? If you don't make sense, we'll never get to the bottom of this. Now who slugged you? Inspector Clay. What? It was Clay, all right. Only not like we remembered him. Well, his. Wait, what's busted it to, wasn't it? Next, you'll tell me you saw skeletons. We did, earlier. Now I know you're off your rocker. Oh my god. All of us saw it. Lieutenant, the Colonel, everybody. Where's Lieutenant now? What is going on with her, I right? Mrs. Trent is gone. I was left here to guard her. Clay showed up and put me out of the running. And the second time tonight, and I'm getting darn tired of it. Which way were they going? Oh, that way. Come on. <laughs> He's still walking. <laughs> So is it dark or is it not dark? All just an empty void. You two had better come along with us. Come with you? Where? The police station. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems you think you have the upper hand. Look out that window. They have no weapons? 
So, the only weapon they have is the weapon that can control the the undead. So, so are they like? But he would kill in seconds if I so choose. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> Why is he? It's clay, all right. There's no mistaking that. And he's got Mrs. Trent. Get your gun ready. From all I've seen tonight, guns won't do any good. Ah, thank you. He's dead. And we buried him. How are we going to kill somebody that's already dead? Thank dead. you. And yet there he stands. That the dumbest person I just said one of the smartest things. Him. I'm seeing it. That's the only reason I'm listening to you. Look. I've got an idea. This, not, I guess a broken cock thing. is uh I'm right you know twice out of there, so that ought to make a move. Follow me. Even when Clay was alive, he couldn't run fast enough to catch me. So when he does, you grab Mrs. Trent and run like lightning in the opposite direction. Oh, you think it'll work? Oh, anything else to try? Starting to get a little tired. What's up with his face? What? She didn't say anything. Take care of the others. She's not talking. Your men have felled the big one. This could only happen because the electrode ray is off. He'll walk again when I turn it on. All that? Exactly. Right Don't. Suppose the Just shoot you. Well, Supposing there are margins or something in there. So, yeah, let me uh, turn this ray on so he can kill you guys. Just give me a second. Please just stay still, don't worry. Oh my god, best sound effect ever. Yo, the girl is. Oh, punches. Oh, he completely missed. He has a gun, just shoot him. Those are your controls for your ship? Wow. You guys are not that advanced. Why are they sitting there letting her do that? Yeah, what are they gonna leave them? The ship's on fire. The damn control is broken. Ah, punch in the gut. That was an explosive back chop right there. His signature move. Guess they're not too advanced for fire extinguishers. Or some kind of, you know, inhalation vents or something. Alright, yeah, let's take off on fire. Yep, that works. Yep. Uh, I wonder if that's the last we'll see of them. Perhaps. <laughs> but sooner or later, there'll be others. Look! Oh, boy. That woman, that thing, yeah. Wouldn't the shirt right. be over? Loose, so, like wait. Like <laughs> he turned his skeleton and took his shirt off? It's like, oh, I'm turning back to a skeleton. Uh, well, hold on. Let me take my shirt off. Alright, right, okay. I can turn now. Oh, exploded. My friend, you have seen this incident 
based on sworn testimony. Can you prove that it didn't happen? Perhaps on your way home, someone will pass you in the dark, and you will never know it. Oh my God! Or they will be from outer space. Many scientists believe that another world is watching us this moment. We once laughed at the horseless carriage. It's the still airplane, reading. The telephone, the electric light, the vitamins, radio, and even television. And now some of us. So yeah, this is supposed to be based space. off a true story. Wow, wow, wow.